<laughs> you know, I, well, I don't I don't even know if it's been a full month and this guy's in trouble again. Okay, for those of you that don't know who Ezra Miller is, he is the guy that plays the Flash in the DCEU movies and I believe he's also in the Fantastic Beasts movie series. Those are like the two biggest things he's known for, but he's been getting in a lot of trouble as of late. Uh, last month, I think it was he was at a bar, at a karaoke bar, when he got into trouble and got arrested for, like, disorderly conduct and stuff. He has been accused of threatening people in the past, you know, with offing them and stuff like that, allegedly. And if you guys remember, it was about, I think it was about two years ago, one or two years ago, where he was in Iceland and outside of a bar there. I don't know if he ever got in trouble for that, but he had... Uh, seemingly accosted a woman now that's one that's actually on video where he grabbed the woman after he was outside the bar i think he was probably a little bit inebriated not that that would make it any better right not that that would excuse his behavior but he grabbed the woman and then he like pulled her to the ground you know at, at the very least inappropriate to do regardless of what the situation was if she was just um you know jeering at him or whatever you know fans could be obnoxious sometimes too i get that but you know that doesn't give you the right to put your hands on anybody and now we have this instance right where you see this article from hawaii news now i'll go ahead and link in the description below for those of you that want to read it for yourselves where it says the flash star ezra miller arrested again in hawaii for alleged assault so it says uh pahoa uh ezra miller known for playing the flash was arrested for second degree assault early tuesday uh following an incident at a pahoa home hawaii county police said it's the latest in a string of negative headlines involving the star Hawaii Island Police said Miller was taken into custody about 1.30 a.m. Tuesday. Police said Miller allegedly became R8 when asked to leave an acquaintance home and threw a chair at a woman. That, that's wild, right? Uh, the 26-year-old victim reported a half-inch cut to her forehead. Miller was arrested following a traffic stop at the intersection of Highway 130 at Kakula Street. Police said the star was subsequently released pending further investigation. Miller has played The Flash in several movies, but has more recently grabbed attention for his erratic behavior. Last month, Miller was arrested after allegedly ripping a microphone out of a woman's hands and lunging at a man playing darts at a Hilo karaoke bar. The star of Vermont resident is scheduled to be in court Tuesday to enter a plea on harassment and disorderly conduct charges in connection with that case. So that's crazy. Like, he hasn't even gone to court for that incident, and here he is getting in trouble yet again. Now, again, I don't know because this report doesn't say maybe as the news comes out, we'll find out. If he was also drinking this time around when this incident took place, not not that I'm saying that that would excuse anything. That's still whether sober or inebriated, not not good, not good, right? And it seems like his behavior is escalating. This guy has either some serious anger issues when he's sober, or it, it is just a. I mean, what how else can you say? It? He's just a violent drunk. <laughs> I don't know, or he, maybe he's just that's just that's just his personality. But it seems like every time it seems to get progressively worse and people that have been like fired in Hollywood or quote unquote canceled in Hollywood. There's been people that have done way less than what Ezra Miller has done. Now I get that Ezra Miller is not as big of a star as maybe some other people that have had some, you know, serious allegations come out against them of misconduct or whatever. But you have instances where people, like I said, have been canceled for way less, just baseless accusations at times and here you have Ezra Miller, who somehow never really seems to suffer any kind of repercussions over his actions, which I find interesting. Now, this could be due to his, um, you know, what, what he identifies as. And for those of you that don't know, I believe he identifies as as queer. So maybe that's why he hasn't suffered any repercussions. Maybe they're afraid that if they fire him or, or do anything like that, you know, that he, they'll that uh, Ezra Miller will potentially use that against and say, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm being, I'm being discriminated against because I'm a part of the LGBTQ uh, community. Maybe they're afraid that that's what's going to happen. I don't know. Can't say for sure. But um, I find it interesting that a lot of mainstream media outlets don't really talk about him all that much. They don't really um, spotlight. I mean, some do, don't get me wrong. Some, and I'm sure now it's getting to that point where you can't really avoid it all that much anymore but when he had that incident in iceland right i don't recall very many media outlets really picking that up and again that's something that had it been anybody else i think 
there would have been calls for them to be fired and all that stuff. And again, I'm, I'm not calling for that. I'm not saying that, um, you know, I'm not advocating for him being canceled. I'm just saying that there's people that have done way less and have suffered more severe consequences like that, right? Like being fired, losing roles in movies for unsubstantiated claims that have been uh, levied against them and things like that. But here you have Ezra Miller, who it, it seems like the guy just can't stay out of trouble. And it seems like every time he does get in trouble, it's just progressively getting worse. The situations are progressively getting worse here. If this is true, right? Cause this is, we have to say allegedly, we don't know for a fact that this happened, but he threw a chair at somebody and it might have just been a cut could be just a small small cut whatever you know a half inch cut i mean that's that 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 can still be pretty deep but you don't know if this woman was concussed after the fact i mean well, i guess we'll find out i mean who knows what could have happened though right if he had hit this woman at at such an angle and depending on the chair weight and how he threw it what if what if it if she suffered more than just a cut right if for some reason this causes, you know, this were to cause like, uh, you know, some kind of brain damage where, where she, um, where she suffers some kind of, I don't know, some, some subdural hematoma or something. And she ends up dead. Like there's things that could go way, 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 way worse. And when you see an instance like this, where the guy is like, he has these violent outbursts and it's seemingly over nothing, uh, or, or, if he was just told to leave, I mean, granted, they could have been already in an argument. Maybe it's possible that um, things got physical before that. Who knows? But I don't know. I, I, Given the trouble he gets in and the, the accounts of witnesses, and again, if you see the video of him in Iceland, he seems like the kind of guy that has no problem being very hands-on, especially when he's upset. So take that for what it is. Again, I don't know Ezra Miller personally, but it just seems like when you see the situations he's been involved in, the reports, and again, if you see the video of him in Iceland, it wouldn't surprise me to learn that he's just a guy that is a, a hothead, right? He, he seems that way, for sure. And these situations just reaffirm that. Every time I hear about him getting in trouble, it just seems to reaffirm the fact that the guy has some serious anger issues. And it's only going to be a matter of time, I think, until he really, really, really hurts someone. So we'll see what uh, happens. We'll see if he still gets to keep his jobs after this. Maybe this will be the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. But um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you all think about this in the comment section below. Until next time, you all know how it goes. I'll catch you all on the next video.